Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for 10-12. So Friday, October 12th into the 13th. Daily vibes. This is the vice versa deck. There's stuff on both sides. Somebody is really talking to the divine. That's what it looks like to me. It's like they're having messages with the divine, um, especially at night. Okay, receiving some messages at night. Um, mm. There's still some sort of closure that is needed. There's some closure that is needed and it feels as though somebody is about to receive the message that they need to close something. Well, that's what it looks like to me. There's, I think there's like there's some praying going on here. You know, some sort of... Yeah, it's like praying. Praying for something and I feel like the message is getting through. If you have been praying, if you have been, you know, talking to your spirits or whatever, they, they, they hear you. I think that they hear you, and I feel as though, um, happiness is coming. Happiness is coming. I think that you are being protected. Okay, you are absolutely being protected. You look, there's two guards here. I think that you are being protected at this time. You may not see, you may not see things clearly, but it's going to come. The, the clarity that you need, that you've been asking for, is absolutely, positively going to come. I see a new beginning here uh, where, I mean, where's the freaking dog? The dog already go. He's on his own. He's on his own. He don't even got the dog anymore. He, this guy, I think that somebody is absolutely ready for a brand new beginning on their own. Somebody is about to start a new journey by themselves. I mean, walking away. Yeah, somebody is about to receive the message or the clarity or the answer that they need that's, that allows them or pushes them to walk away. Somebody is going to get cut out. Somebody is going to get cut out because... Somebody is going to start on a journey by themselves, a brand new journey without the only thing he's bringing with him is this bag. He's not bringing anything else. It's like he's dropped the crown. He's dropped the cup. I don't want any of that. I'm going, I'm starting over, starting completely over with nothing. So I think this is a complete, fresh, new start that you've been praying for. And it's being divinely guided, okay? There's a divinely guided truth that is coming, being revealed. Whatever this truth is. Mm. 
that is going to allow someone or push someone to completely walk away from something, to find their strength and their courage, to allow this transformation, transition to happen. There is some sort of transformation on the horizon. That's it. We're at the beginning of it, okay? And then we have this 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 woman. This is the Queen of Wands that is really trying to regain her focus, her concentration. She's trying, she's guarding herself. She's protecting herself at this time. Going within. Definitely protection in both these cards. You are being protected, so so take that as a as a message. You're being protected. The Seven of Swords, that's some sort of betrayal, some sort of deception. This is a completion of one cycle, a completion of it's like an ego death of some sort. No longer needing to prove oneself. There could have been some cheating, too. I mean, I don't know who this is for, but with these two cards right next to each other, I mean, there could be some cheating here that I know it's totally off context, but just, just when I just looked at these, I said cheating to myself. There could be the end of a commitment that comes about because of a third party situation and somebody gets caught okay just saying some truth is going to be revealed maybe that's what the message comes through maybe somebody gets caught maybe there's a baby that comes out of it I don't know um, I feel as though there is going to be some sort of push in a new direction and you're gonna you may not see it as protection but it is protection it is protection um there's definitely been something, some sort of sneaky, shady behavior that may be revealed. Okay? You may be, maybe you have a dream about it. Maybe, I don't know. I think that there's some sort of deception, betrayal that is going to be revealed that is going to, you know, because the dog is about loyalty as well. And there's no dog here. It's like, you know, I'm on my own. You can't even be loyal to me. So I think that there's, oh, God. Somebody may receive some sort of information about another person that was not loyal. And it may force them to go in a new direction. I mean, that's what this is. It's a, there could be, you know, a divorce. There could be, you know, goodbye. I mean, goodbye. That's what this is. I mean, I can't make it into anything. It's not. It's like everything happens for a purpose. This is happening for a reason. Because it's, it's time for you to fly, okay? It is. It's time for you to start, have a fresh new start. That's, that's the way it goes as you evolve through, throughout time. We evolve and we, we all have new starts along the way. So I feel as though the universe... is helping to complete a chapter in your life that doesn't have any more growth. You know, it's 
there's too much deception. There's too much, too many lies. You have a new opportunity. That's what this is. I guess I'll turn that around. Yeah, change is coming quick. Quick, 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 quick. I think there's a new opportunity here that you are being given from an angel, from some sort of angel above. I'm not sure which one because I can't tell you. God as well. I think heaven or whatever is involved here. You are being protected by a sneaky, shady individual. And you've probably been praying and begging for the answers. And I think that they heard you. And they're helping you to complete a cycle that you've been reluctant to complete. But I think that they're bring you in, bringing you in somebody to help you heal. This person is coming in very, very quickly. When they come in, they will arrive quickly. They may be somebody who travels. This could have to do with a father. I feel as though, or somebody in authority, a manager, this person has... This person, we have the emperor here, is very structured, organized, capable, wise. We also have cancer here. This is a chariot. We have Gemini. Just looking, we have Sagittarius. We have Taurus. We have Aries. We have Aries a couple times. Doesn't matter. We have Leo. Aries, Sagittarius. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I say the signs. But anyhow, there's a opportunity for love here, okay? There's an opportunity for new love. It may not be who you thought it was. See, that's the thing. That is the thing. You've probably been praying for somebody who deceived you. We do it all the time, don't we? We do. You may have been praying for the answers. You are praying both of these. She's, she's like praying, whatever. You could you look at it many ways. But anyway, I think that you have been begging for answers, begging for closure, begging for everything in regards to this shady person that you were dealt with, dealing with. And you were probably even praying for that, whatever, reconciliation, even though they hurt you. But you need to realize that you were being protected by not getting that prayer answered. But it feels like they're answering your prayers in a different way with somebody that you don't expect, with an, a suitor that is better suited for you, but you would never expect it. It's an unexpected choice in love. And that's what this is. I think there's an unexpected choice in love for those of you that Don't expect it. You know what I'm saying? You don't expect it and all of a sudden it's here. It's quickly here. And I feel like, I mean, it could lead to marriage. It could lead to stability. But I feel like it comes after walking away from the deceptor. Because here, right here, you walk away. This new opportunity comes in. It's stable. It's secure. It's structured. It's with somebody who can take really, really good care of you. It happens really fast. There could be some travel involved, you know, where there's vacations or you're going back and forth with this person or this person comes to you or you go to them. There's whatever. But there's an opportunity for you guys to come together and work together very nicely. And it could lead to a lot of abundance, security, happiness, marriage. I receive, I receive, I, 
I do receive. I see that there is some sort of truth that is being revealed or some sort of communication or some answer that you are going to receive that pushes you away another step, another four steps, five steps. in a new direction with that fool card we have a brand new start here a fresh start with the world card as well somebody is about to start on a brand new journey that you they have been even subconsciously praying for and then we have it's gonna it's going to be beautiful it's a gift from above it's like cupid is bringing two people together not the same culture probably maybe doesn't matter. But a perfect union. Here you go. This is what you really asked for. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of message That moves you in a new direction. I mean, come on now. That's what this is. And it's gonna it's gonna lead to something long term, it is. And it's gonna lead to happiness. And peace and love. It's a lover's card. There's a major new beginning here that you have been asking for. You were being protected during this time of healing. You had to heal from this sneak. I mean, the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, this person that was nasty, mean. They're not going to bring that mean person back to you. Unless you got more lessons to learn, which you could with that world card kind of in reverse, but not really. Lesson learned, right? You don't really want that nasty, mean person back who forced you to walk away and put your guard up and go into hiding and you know need to protect yourself whatever it's like god angels whatever they say no 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 we heard you you're going to meet somebody unexpectedly that is not your usual, but you fall in love. It's not what you thought. It's not. And there is going to be a message of love, Page of Cups. So I think there's a welcome message of love coming in from somebody that you don't expect. It's not who you think it is. It's not the person that you walked away, walked away from. It's not. I think there's an opportunity for stability, something long-term and happy here. Let's get a couple of these. The universe is asking for you to trust they're asking for you to believe there's a new soulmate connection here. If you have learned your lesson from the person that deceived you.
you're about to embark on a brand new journey. That could lead to something really abundant and successful with somebody who can take really good care of you and will help you to heal. <coughs> Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And maybe you go on a uh, travel with this person. You notice there's two. So I really feel like there's an opportunity for you to get together with somebody new and really get to know each other. And perhaps fall in love. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself enough. To not let yourself be deceived by somebody that pushed you away. There's a new opportunity here with somebody that is better suited for you. It's going to be like a dream come true. If you can continue to see the situation clearly. So anyway, yes, there's a new opportunity for, for love here with somebody that is not your usual type, but you, it could lead to something very long-term and committed. It's, this could involve <coughs> travel. Okay, it really could. Have fun.